The, would you repeat that question for President Carter? Yes, President Carter. Wage earners in this country, especially the young, are supporting a social security system that continues to affect their income drastically. The system is fostering a struggle between young and old and is drifting the country toward a polarization of these two groups. How much longer can a young wage earner expect to bear the ever-increasing burden of the social security system? As long as as a Democratic president in the White House, we will have a strong and viable social security system free of the threat of bankruptcy. Although Governor Reagan has changed his position lately, on four different occasions he has advocated making social security a voluntary system, which would in effect very quickly bankrupt it. I noticed also in the Wall Street Journal earlier this week that a preliminary report of his task force advocates making social security more sound by reducing the adjustments in social security for the retired people to compensate for the impact of inflation. These kinds of approaches are very dangerous to the security and the well-being and the peace of mind of the retired people of this country and those approaching retirement age. But no matter what it takes in the future to keep Social Security sound, it must be kept that way. And although there was a serious threat to the Social Security system and its integrity during the 1976 campaign and when I became president, the action of the Democratic Congress working with me has been to put Social Security back on a sound financial basis. That's the way it will stay. 